Welcome to a video from thedigitallifestyle.com. I've got something different to look at in this video, and that is a Microsoft HoloLens. I've done quite a bit with mixed reality, as you can see on our YouTube channel and on thedigitallifestyle.com, where I've done videos on using the Lenovo headset, comparison with the Acer headset, and we looked at Steam and Google Earth and other stuff. So what we're looking at in this video is the uh, Microsoft HoloLens. Two things I'm going to show you, quickly a little bit about the outside of it and the bits you get with it and that kind of thing. And then I'm also recording this on my uh, Surface here using the HoloLens app. So the ho this is what I am seeing currently. So as you can see there, I'm seeing the start menu floating around. I haven't placed any windows anywhere in here. I haven't run any apps yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place some apps around the room and um, I'm going to see how they work. I've been testing this and you can have a full big screen of uh, Microsoft Edge up streaming uh, Netflix or iPlayer, BBC iPlayer. There's also some games, there's some interesting other stuff as well, things for measuring things. And so I'm going to be looking at those as well. Um, like I said, I'll show you the outside as well. The first thing I wanted to try and show is the field of view because this is the thing that most people um, probably don't understand the Helens. You see the Microsoft videos and you can see all the holograms all around the room. And um, yeah, really that's not quite what you see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load Microsoft Edge there and I'm going to place Microsoft Edge directly in front of the camera now. So I've got that on there and if I So if I move the camera around, so you can. Okay, so I've now done that. So if I show you here, I stand over this other side of the room. That screen is my field of view. It's slightly wider, I guess. Those handles at the edges are just those corners there are just slightly out of view. Okay, I can see all of that screen now. That's that's kind of the field of view. So. It's like the, I would guess it's like a 40 inch TV over there on the other side of the room. Um, so that's the field of view. Right, let's have a quick look at the hardware. Here it is the HoloLens. So we're just going to quickly show you the, the hardware of it first. So you've got the screen there. It comes, it comes in this Dell edition in this nice big box, which um, inside there, you've got this nice case. And inside the nice case, as well as the HoloLens. You get the cable that you need, it's a micro USB charging cable, there's a charger, and there's a nose clip, and uh, there's, some other, there's a little cl cleaning cloth in there as well. The nose clip, there's a couple of different ones, I've just got one of them on there now. Uh, as well as a charger, also included, is a clicker. So you can do a tap, like that, which is what we call an air tap, or you can, you can do it with a clicker. So, it's fairly comfortable, you've got this nose clip on there, speakers are here, uh, there's a headphone port on as well, and then they've got a micro USB charger, and you've got a band, adjustable band on there for you, and you can really adjust this angle to make it quite comfortable for yourself, so, it really can make it really comfortable, this is, that's comfortable for me now, um, and, uh, I've got it on now in this room. I, I put a Microsoft Edge browser over there, which, if I show you what I mean, there's my Microsoft Edge, and that is really bright. So it's actually brighter than a TV uh, would be. So I've got a Microsoft Edge over there, and I can go like this. Opens up the Start menu, which you saw before, and I can choose an app. So maybe I'm going to uh, open the Holograms app so I can tap like that and then I get to choose where that goes so I place that over there. So there's the Hologram app. I can choose a Hologram so I'm going to choose this space guy and I'm going to place him over there around the camera and you can see now if I click on him you can see him moving around like that. So I've got the hologram there, I've got the edge there, the hologram there. And these are real, these are, there's three dimensional as well. So as I uh, walk around the room now and go and have a look at the guy, 
you know, I can almost go, I can go around, around the back of him and see it. And uh, I can place more browsers. See, I've got a, a room scanner one there. I can place more stuff over there. I can, uh, let's have a look at this one, hollow race car. I'm going to place that, the launcher over there. And actually I'll launch it. And uh, let's see where that appears. So there's the car. So I can walk back round and have a look and you can see the car from this view. And I can say place. It moves the car, so I'm going to move it there. Place. That's fine there. So I've got the car there, so I can even go and have a look around it and so on. And then the other options I can do, I can explode. Explode. Brings it back in. And I can say animate. Animate. And there you go, we can see it and it's gone into the distance. So that's one particular app. Um, there's loads of apps on there. You can see it scanned the room then, I'm sure you couldn't see that through there. Uh, okay, so what else can I do? I can have a giant screen with Netflix on, like I said, Hollow Tours, it's all these are the games I've downloaded. Um, Cortana's on there as well. So you've got the concept of air tapping, uh, scrolling. I can go over to the Edge browser and if I uh, click on it, I can go like that and scroll up and down, like, like using that. Um, these holograms all look real and they're filling the room as I open up apps. Let me actually um, look at another app on there, Hall Aquarium. Let's do that up there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to launch this Hollow Aquarium now, which uh, you'll see on my HoloLens screen. So it's doing a scan of the room at the moment. Uh, let's take a diver there. Okay, that's, that's fine. Okay, so we're looking for some fish. And there we go, we've got some fish and I can walk around and you'll see there's my fish going. Oh there's one over there. And you see how it hit that wall and come back in, but there's some fish over there. So the fish are starting to go all over the place in this room now. This is the amazing thing with the whole land, is they look real enough to touch and I almost can touch it, but obviously it's not real and uh, I can't touch it. But that's what it feels like, it's amazing. Um, the holograms look so real and that's what's really impressive with this, is that everything looks so real on there. Right, let's just have a look quick at... Uh, you see how I can stick apps on the wall, you can see how like I can chip, pin my mail to the wall and this I can use it for a business thing. There's also some other there's loads of other games like Galaxy Explorer and uh, I wanted to show something like a measuring tool, something that's slightly interesting, uh, slightly something slightly different, the measuring tool is a way of quickly measuring something the size of something. So I could measure the size of a box and you just use air tap so I can say I want to measure this there. So I'm going to air tap there to there. That's 1.16 meters. And I can then go from there to the bottom. And that's 2.59 meters. So that's the kind of thing it knows how far and how deep you are. How, uh, from each each point it knows the distance so it, it can calculate the, the distance. That's the kind of thing that HoloLens can do because it knows where the surfaces are. There's an app that will actually take pictures of all the room and create digital surfaces. I won't show you that now but it's very impressive. Um, just one final thing I want to 
show um, as well as a whole it's a full PC so any of the Windows Store apps are available or any but any of the ones that uh, tagged as compatible HoloLens and as a developer you can tag your app if it's just a regular Windows Store app so like you see uh, Galaxy Explorer I've, I've, uh, I've tested uh, and I've got loads of other apps on here um, let's Aquarium. So there's, there's loads of games and loads of apps available. There's Dinosaur Explorers, which is which is amazing. The Hollow Tours, where you can live in Rome, and I've, I've shown that on previous videos with the Windows Mixed Reality. There, um, one game I'm going to show is this Robot Raid, um, which and I'll place the box over there. So this is the launcher. So Robot Raid. The point of Robot Raid is it turns your room into a play space so it takes the walls and the robots start to smash through the walls and I'm in a room with not a lot of with some glass in here but it should still work so I'll quickly show you this and it's a, a super colour super colour ridge production when you see these so the cracks are coming in the walls themselves uh, it's a bit weird here coming glass and you can see through there but yeah that's that's impressive stuff of course you can use control uh, um, Call time and everything so I can say adjust make bigger bigger you can get the size of everything you want and here you can um, see I'm looking at the uh, let's say done and I can scroll through these these lists of apps on there and I'll finger tap these uh, let's scroll through and you can see all the apps that are available. I've got uh, One Drive install, Groove Music. There's all these games that will work. There's a whole lot of stuff. But fundamentally, the the the, the image technology is amazing. On this yes, the field of view is kind of that by that. But these things will get better. There's so much you you can do with this. I was sitting on the sofa, I had a giant screen up. I can look there's my email. Uh, it's very much like the Windows Mixed Reality, everything is very similar to that with the immersive headsets, but this you get to see the real world as well. So that's my very quick overview of the HoloLens. I've wanted to play one of these for ages, it's finally here. So thanks for watching this video, check out our other stuff on the YouTube channel.